Hello everyone. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. I feel so blessed that you're here with me today. I am bringing to you my monthly sinking funds cash stuffing video. This month will be a tad different because I do not have the spreadsheet that I usually show you at the end of the video where I compare this month's numbers to last month's numbers. So I apologize that I don't have that with me, but the reason I don't is that we ended up taking away my desktop computer and my desk out of my office because I have this beautiful table that Matt made for me. He made me a huge table so that I could use it to film on and to do my Etsy work on. It's super sturdy and it's just a nice big size so I have plenty of workspace. I had a tiny little um computer desk to the left wall where I had my desktop computer, but I didn't use it very often. I only used it for a few different things. So we decided to go ahead and make some space in my crowded office and to get rid of that computer desk and we needed it for something else for another we wanted to repurpose it so we realized we don't really need my desktop computer at all because behind me we have another desk with Matt's desktop computer and that's where he edits the videos so before we unplugged my computer I forgot to transfer the few documents that I had saved on that computer and this was one of them so I don't have the totals but if you go to last month's this month's shouldn't be that much different. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue. I'm filming this on Thursday morning and this should be up Friday morning. This weekend we are going to my, we're going to go to church with my family an hour away on Sunday and it will be all four of us. No one's working, which is awesome. So we'll get to go to church with the family and then go back to my parents' house and we will give my mom her Mother's Day gifts and we will be celebrating my nephew Ethan's 16th birthday. I know a lot of you were here last year when we celebrated his 15th birthday and I like to do a shout out to him because he is the one that created the charge up challenge in my shop and he still gets the proceeds for that. So anyway, we'll be doing that this weekend and hopefully in some of next week's videos, I'll have some more pictures to share with you as I try to be good about that. But for today, we are going to first, I'm gonna show you one piece of Happy Mail and then we'll get right into the video of doing my monthly stuffing. So let's go ahead and get out what I wanted to show you. I actually filmed about 10 to 15 minutes of this video and then realized I never hit record. So this is my second go at it. So I already took the, the bubble mailer. It was a pretty mint green bubble mailer and I already tossed it on the floor. So I didn't get up to go get it, but I got something in the mail at my house. And so I didn't expect it to be a gift. I thought it was just something I ordered off Etsy. So I savagely opened it up and then I realized it was from a subscriber. So I'm sorry that I'm not opening it for the first time on camera, but it's something I definitely wanted to share with you guys. So here is what I got. I got a note and it says, enjoy your gift from Etsy. And then it is a gift from a little of it all budget. A little of it all budget is the shop. I'm definitely gonna go in and favor the shop. I can't wait to see what else is in the shop. And I will link the shop in this description box. I didn't wanna show you the back of the card because there is a returning customer discount code that I wasn't sure if I could show or not. And then there's a little note with more mint green writing and it, here's what it says. It says, hey friend, sweet Melissa sent this to you. She said, thank you so much for being a friend, for helping me and encouraging me in my budget journey. I hope you enjoy this gift. I also bought one so we could do them together. Okay, so when I recorded this the first time, I went off about, I know a lot of Melissa's, so I don't know who this is. Please send me a message on Etsy. Please send me an email. Comment to this um, video because I really want to know if I know who you are and whether I do or not, I want to personally thank you. Well, just as I started reading this card for the second time I'm, tr I'm recording this video, it just dawned on me who this is. I believe this is the Melissa who 
she made that Wizard of Oz low income beautiful challenge book. And I just realized that I have a an inkling that this is from her. So Melissa O, oh, if this is from you, thank you so much. I don't know how you knew that I how much I love this item, but I've never seen this item before, but it is everything. Let me show it to you guys while I go on. And if it's not that Melissa, if it's a different one, again, please do let me know who you are because I seriously want to thank you. So you all know I love little things, but this mini composition book like I had growing up, oh my goodness, like the full size one. This is so cute. I love miniature things and I'm obsessed with challenge books and it being a mini in size book is even better. I was so surprised when I opened this because, well, I was surprised that a subscriber had my address, but I was also just surprised that I love it so much and I just don't think this person knows me well enough to know that if I had seen this on Etsy, I would have freaked out. This is like the coolest thing ever. It's made really, really well and it is... Every page is an envelope and it's just the number, it starts with the small numbers and it just goes up in, in what ascending order is that ascending up? But anyway, it, it goes all the way to 20. So for me, this is super manageable. I'm thinking I could probably sneak it in somewhere soon, but you guys know that these little amounts add up. So I just think this is one of the cutest things I have ever seen and I can't wait to do it. And I just don't know how someone who doesn't know me very well would know unless they guess that I would absolutely freak out when I saw this, which I did. Wasn't on camera, like I said, because I opened it off camera. But anyway, thank you so much. I don't deserve anything. You guys don't need to get me anything. I just appreciate you supporting me in my videos, watching my videos, liking them, watching ads, leaving comments. You guys already know how awesome you are. I also just wanted to mention that I got these in the order, and this is one of the nicest placeholders I've ever seen. It's $100, so I'm not sure if it, if it is sold in the shop or not. I need to check it out, but definitely go check out this shop and favorite it. And thank you to the Melissa who bought this for me. This is one of the most special things, and I just... I'm still in awe it exists. It's the cutest thing in the whole world. So I'm going to put it off to the side and let's go ahead and do the letterbox first before I forget. So we're going to grab, I'm going to grab the letterbox that I have saved up in the past month since we did one of these videos and they're actually in a bowl right now. Here's why. I told you, well, I needed a place to put them where they wouldn't fall over, but I told you guys that once I opened the Mother's Day gifts that my kids told me they had for me, that they were going to be late, but they had them for me, I told you I would let you know what they are. So you guys, I don't know why my son said that he wanted to piggyback his gift with my daughter and give them to me together. I was kind of like, what's going on? But they gave them to me separate. Anyway, my son gave me this bowl and you can see it's taking up the whole screen. It is pretty big. It is a pottery bowl from our local shop. So it supports supports our local community. And it is one of the prettiest pottery dishes I have ever gotten. I love the brown and the blue. And the fact that the whites in there is just icing on the cake. I just, I have been staring at this. You might not be able to see how beautiful it is on camera, but I am obsessed with it. And I know I say I'm obsessed with a lot of things, but I really am. And my son will catch me looking at it all the time. And he's like, wow, you really like it? And yes, I really like it. I also got from him freeze dried Skittles that are made in our state of New Hampshire. I forgot to bring them to show you for the video, but they are like the best thing ever. And then my daughter got me these. She knows I love salt and vinegar. So she got me something new to try. And they were from Marshall's. They were called, I think they're pronounced yucca chips. But they're actually, I'm surprised, they're really good. And she also got me Jordan almonds, which I haven't had in years, but her dad took her shopping and she asked him to. And I think he gave her a hint because he and I used to get Jordan almonds for each other all the time. And he stopped buying them for me when one of them broke my tooth. It was when I was pregnant with Addie so that my teeth were sensitive, extra sensitive because I was pregnant. And... 
I bit into a Jordan almond when I was pregnant with her. My tooth broke and I started crying my eyes out because I knew what was going to happen. And sure enough, I needed to get a bridge, which cost me $5,000 after insurance out of pocket. And at that point, our dentist was an hour away and I had to go five or six different weeks in a row. So anyway, <laughs> I don't think he's bought them for me since then, but I buy them for him still for occasions. But I hadn't done it in a couple years. I kind of forgot they existed. So it was very sweet that she got me the Jordan almonds and the chips. And now that's all I have to tell you and show you that doesn't have to do with this video. So we will move on. So here are all the letter books I saved this month. And it's not as much as normal, but I will tell you that there were a few times that I did not, I wasn't able to go to the bank to get money for a video because of just craziness going on and stuff like that. And I'm trying to work on Etsy items, but my neck still does hurt if I work for too long because I'm, what, six weeks out from surgery. Anyway, so sometimes I will borrow money I have on hand and then I will go to the bank and just take out that amount. And so instead of going to the bank and taking a bunch of smaller denominations and getting a bunch of $1 bills, I will just go and get if it was a $250 video, I'll just get two $100 bills and a 50 to pay back the envelope I took it from. So anyway, that's the truth. <laughs> we'll start with a or a box. This is what I'm saving for my daughter, Addie, for her future. This is how many is in there. And I don't think I even have these sorted today like I normally do, but let's go ahead and count. And I know that it's not fun to watch someone count a bunch of stacks of $1 bills in a row. So once we get to the second one or whatever. I'll have Matt start fast forwarding some of these. But for Addie, we don't have that much. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So we have 17 A box, but every one is going to add up. I can't wait to see at the end of the year how much this is. So the next letter book we are saving is is D for Diego. So we have Diego's massive bag. When I ordered it, I didn't know it would be quite this big, but that's okay because after I save letterbox, maybe I'll use it for um, throw in the car. Sometimes I like to um, have a leash in the car and like a, one of those collapsible water things, treats. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it like a mini dog diaper bag for the summer for my car. I don't know. But anyway, um, we have, this was a special gift from my sweet Brittany. There's a, there's a note in there, but this is from Brittany at Lunova B, one of my favorite, favorite Etsy shops to purchase from. She's in Canada, but she's always mailing me gifts, even though it's so expensive. She is just such a sweetheart. She sent these for Diego or she sent D bucks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They are brand new. So we have nine to start with, but I just wanted to say thank you again to Brittany. So after, I'm going to show them to you this way so you can see the letter box in case you want to make sure they're D's. But so we already have nine. So then we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So 21 D bucks for my sweet little Diego. And I will go ahead and put in two or three pictures of him with Addie. They're just so cute. So I'll have Matt put them up right now. Okay, so e-bucks are the next one. E-bucks we are saving for me. My name is actually Elizabeth and I had started saving e-bucks for myself to spend on Etsy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight e-bucks. So we didn't do very good with e-bucks, but that's okay. <laughs> so we still have a bunch in here. I love, love, love these pouches. They are so well made. They were personalized for me. They came so fast and I will have the Etsy shop linked. And then next let me make sure. Yes, G comes next. G we are saving for Matt. Matt's middle name starts with a G. And we actually had quite a bit. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's keep going. We had quite a bit this month. So 
This might be the winner, I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and count these. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 35 G bucks. That is amazing. All right, so let me know what you guys are up to this week, and I would love to hear. Um, we have one more. We have L bucks that we saved for my son. So my son, Max, his middle name is Logan. So we're going to do an L for Max. And obviously we can't do the letter M because it stops at L. So, all right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, two, three, four, five, 26, 26 dollars for Max. So we will just keep adding to these and then after the year is up, we will count them and put them in the appropriate um, funds that they go into. So that is everything for the letter box. And now we're going to do the cash stuffing. Um, I will go ahead and count it for you just to make sure um, it is correct. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to leave it in the tray though. So we have, um, oh, I ended up. The bank did not, the bank had a shortage of $100 bills. So we ended up with a bunch of fifties, which is fine. So that is why you won't see any hundreds. So we have, this is going to be a total of $1,500 or it should be. We have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,350. So 1,350. 1370, 1390, 1410, 1430, 1450, 1460, 1470, 1475, 80, 85, 90, 1491, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. Okay, so I know I just said 14. 99 and 50. I meant 1500. Okay. <laughs> Confused myself there for a minute. So we have three sinking funds binders that I add to every month. Some, the first one is for bills. So we're going to start with that one. And I know I forget to show the back of these sometimes. So if you're new and you want to see it, I'm going to try to remember to flip them over, but this is the first one. And just one moment, please. So thirsty. Okay. So I made these binders or I made the envelopes and the trackers. So basically I've already written what we're adding today and the total. If you guys write in these, I have a question for you. Does it look purple and then never get darker? Cause it's driving me crazy. And I'm wondering if I should go buy a new pack of Sharpies, but I don't want to buy them when I don't need them just because that looks purple and I'm OCD or I'm a perfectionist. So anyway, I'm wondering if I'm the only one that happens too, but for sewer and water, we are adding 150 to make sure that we have enough when the bill comes. So we are adding, I'm actually going to turn the envelopes this way and we'll add this and we will count these up to make sure they are correct. So we have 51, 52, 250, and that is correct. I always try to, I think I have, I've been pretty good about it. I always try to write these beforehand to make sure that, um, we're not missing anything or I don't do any math wrong. I like to kind of double check counting and then double checking it against that. So for property taxes, I used to do 400 a month. Now um, they went up and I'm doing, so I'm adding 500 a month. So 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So I'm adding 500. I'm not going to recount that. So we have 500. And then we have, plus this isn't the money in the bank. So 1,000, 2,200. So we have 2,200. Actually, I usually put the those bills in the front. So that is correct, 2,200. And yes, I know I need to bring more money to the bank and do another placeholder, but I'll probably do that off camera. So then we have my Subaru registration and we add $31 every month. So we'll add this and see what we're at. 
So the property taxes we pay twice a year, sewer and water we pay every three months, and then the car registrations we pay once a year during our birthday month. So I always make sure that I put in the same amount every month. And so that we'll have, I kind of overestimate a tiny bit because I want to have leftover money when I pay the bill, not be short. So, cause that's never fun. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 150, 1, 2, 3, 4, 155. So that is good. And then for my purple BMW, we have, and in case anyone's new and you're interested, that is the only debt we have between Matt and I, the only debt. I, when I paid off my house, which I have a very small house, I went from 3,500 square feet down to 900 and something. There are four adults and, and a dog. We have one bathroom and it's very small and I'm very thankful for this small house. And I purposely chose to downsize to pay off debt and get out of debt. So once I became 100% debt free, no school loans, no mortgage, no credit card debt, 100% debt free, I bought my dream car. And so I do owe on my dream car. That is the only debt I have right now. And I'm trying to that hasn't been a goal yet to pay that off because I wanted to get in a better situation. I wanted to get my emergency fund plumped up. I wanted to get Diego an emergency fund. So that was just, that's not a priority yet, but that is my one and only debt, just so you know. And where do we leave off? We added the money in there, right? Did we? I don't, did I just add that? I don't even know. Let's see. Um, I don't think we did because we have a lot of ones. So I don't think we did. So 74, so 50, 70, one, two, three, four. Okay. And now when I add this together, I will see if I just added it a second time or not, but I think I would have run out of ones. Okay. So anyway, Here we go. So we have 51, 52, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 350, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 360, 360, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 370. Okay, phew. So I didn't add that twice. Okay. So that is it for this binder. We have two more binders to go. So let me grab the next one. And for this one, we're gonna start off adding money to my deductible category. So for this one, we do we do have the emergency fund and we currently have $9,000 in there, which is so awesome. And we have finished challenges that we do need to add into these, but we'll probably wait till closer to the end of the month, but that is going great. And then for my Roth IRA, I had $1,357 in my checking to put toward my Roth IRA and it ended up getting spent. I don't know exactly what happened, but I ended up paying that back from my tax refund. So I made, Matt and I made that decision. So that is back to where it should be. I made a savings account that says Roth IRA and I transferred that $1,357 from my tax refund into that savings account. So now it will not get spent. So we're back to where we're supposed to be on that one. And now we're going to add $50 into the deductible category. We've been doing this every month since I think the beginning of last year. And we do have three vehicles in our driveway. So I don't mind letting this grow. Plus we have house insurance. So 500 in the bank and then 600, 650, 7, 750. So just by putting in 50 every month, it truly has grown. Thankfully, I haven't needed to use it yet. The next category is travel and we're not able to put too much in. I actually had to move some things around because I forgot about a big expense coming up, which is a good big expense, but I'll tell you when we get there. So let's stick to this one. For travel, we are still gonna be able to add $100 this month and I am very thankful for that. So in travel, we have 1500 in the bank and then 1550 1600. So we now have 1600 in there. Matt and I have never been away for more than two nights together, and every time we've gone away for two nights, something has been wrong 
where two of the times I actually had had infections in my big toe and they happened two different toes, both of them landed on our get our weekend getaway. So something's kind of happened every time we've gone away. So we're hoping that this time when we go away, we'll, I won't get a toe infection. And we'd like to go away in August when he has a week off from work and maybe go away for three or four nights to see an eye. And the last vacation, which it was our first big vacation, we all went to the Bahamas, all four of us. So we would like to go away alone for a few nights, but um, it will depend on how Diego does. I don't know. Diego is so attached to me, even though I don't spend the days with him, but he is so attached to me that I'm afraid he might literally cry the entire time we're gone. So I am going to do a trial somewhere and I can't do the trial until he gets a kennel cough shot. He has the shot scheduled for his physical, which is, or his checkup, which his yearly checkup is in the end of May. So he'll get the shot then, and then we'll schedule him just a night when we're home and see how he does. So I'm excited to get that squared away. And then we're going to move on to girls trip. Let's see, we're adding $50 to this today. So that is also very exciting. This is for when Lindsay from Boy Mom Loves to Save comes to visit me in October. So this is $1,150. That's probably more than I'll ever need, but I want to keep adding to it so that we can have two or three days just to have the time of our lives, be frivolous, and not have a care in the world money-wise. So I've never been on a girl's trip in my life, and I believe she never has either. So then we're going to add $10 to, and this is where I had to add less this month, to my daughter, um, to Addie's future, because I had to slash some things when I realized I had forgotten a big expense. But we're going to add 10 and so she has $1,500 in the bank, and then we have $1,550, $1,570, $80, $90, $95, $1,600, $1,700, $1,800, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900, $1,900,
put money toward that every month and keep it around 75 every month. So this month, I actually remembered to keep the change separate. It was $18, so we only have to add 57. So let's see, Tw oops. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57. 58, 59, 60, 65, 75. Okay, so the 75 is there. I was doing it that way because so I wouldn't have to recount for those of you who don't want to see it recounted. So anyway, we'll have 75 in there for whatever needs I might have for the post office. And then the next one is gifts. And here is where I realized I needed to add 350 to it today. So I told you it was my nephew Ethan's 16th birthday so, that we're celebrating this weekend. So I wanted to give him a $50 bill and I have a wooden thing where you can slide the money in, but it's a piece of wood and it says his name and it says 16 on it. I hope he's not watching this video. If he is, surprise. <laughs> um, I have two little tiny gifts that he can unwrap to go with it. And those, I won't say what they are just in case he's watching. So anyway, then we have Father's Day and I have a Father's Day gift for my dad or I have some of it. And then he just told, he asked me, I have a store near me that he does not have near him. And he was at this shop when he was visiting me, him and my mom visited me while they were on vacation last week. And he found something that he needed that he ended up loving and was on sale. So he asked me if I had only if I had a chance and I could do it, if I could go back and get him two more of these shirts. So I think even though I kind of had what I wanted to give him for Father's Day, um, I think I might just buy him extra and bless him with this because you if you're a parent, you know that you can never give to parents. Parents give so much to their children. You can never give too much to your parents. So I think I'm going to go. So I wanted to have some extra money for Father's Day. So then if you're wondering, well, okay, that might be 50. Your nephew is going to be 50. That's, a, that's 100. Why do you need 350? Well, that is because my Ethan's older brother, Jack, is graduating from high school. And that's my first nephew to graduate. And I thought a lot about it and I want to give him $200. So his party is in June. So if I give him $200 and then I have another $100 for the other gifts I mentioned, then I want a $50 buffer. And some of you just said, and I realized that some of you just said, we didn't really care about the whole spiel. You could have just said, I need to add $350 or I need it for three gifts or one's a graduation gift. But I just want you to know that some of you do love to know the details. Some of you are nosy or interested like I am. I'm a very nosy, curious person. And I know some of you like to know, so I like to tell. So anyway, 51, 52, 53, 50. And I'm going to switch. Of course, the brand new 50s I already put in other <laughs> other um, envelopes, but I can always switch them out later. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, so 350 in gifts. And then we just have a couple more. We have... Hair, we're adding 53, so 50, one, two, and three. And we have it at 300. I do have an appointment, again, for the very end of the month. And um, I don't know what I'm gonna get done. I haven't been to a hairdresser in over six months, if not more, and I, I like to be prepared in cash. I like to give a very big tip, and I definitely need a haircut. Um, I definitely need a haircut and I may get some highlights and things. So I just wanted to have plenty of money. We have 50, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 300. Okay, so we only have one more category we are adding to. So we're going to skip children. I had to take money. I had to slash that off for the graduation gift I forgot about. I love this envelope. I kind of want to sell this envelope in my shop. I just love it so much. Um, and then Diego, we add through savings challenges and medical. 
instead of adding 150, we're just able to add 50, but that's okay because some of some people can't can't add 50 a month. And so I'm so grateful for that. It's all about perspective. So $1,050 in medical. This is the end of my video since I don't have anything um, that spreadsheet to show you, but for those of you who are still watching, I just wanted to share some really good news with you. Um, I got um, two letters in the mail in one envelope. It said to the parents of Max and Addie, and I opened it up and it said that both of my children were receiving a very special award. And so because of that, normally parents aren't invited to the award ceremony at the end of the year. It's one morning at like 7.30 in the morning. I think it's next week for high school. So I've never gotten a letter, even though Max, this is Addie's first time in high school, but over the years, Max has gotten several awards, um, but the parents are never called unless the children get a huge award, which is usually a plaque. So I guess they're both getting a big award. We're not even sure what it's for, but it was big enough that parents are invite. the parents were invited, which, um, yeah. So anyway, we will be going... Um, we'll be going to that. I think it's next week and they have a special breakfast after for the parents and the children. I think it's the, I don't know if it's for all the students or just the children who got the bigger awards. I don't know, but I am just blown away. My children never cease to amaze me. Yes, they're very smart, but they work very, very hard. If they didn't work hard, they would not get these awards. So I just want to shout out to them because they're very hard workers and they're really good kids. So I'm just so excited. So I'll share more about that once the award ceremony happens. Um, it's May 23rd, I think. I'm not sure. Anyway, so if you're still watching and you watch to the end, put some type of a award emoji and then I will know who watched to the end just because I'm curious sometimes who enjoys these videos all the way through and who doesn't. And anyway, it helps me figure out um, stuff like that. So that is it for this video. I hope you all are doing well. Let me know what's going on with you. I would love to hear. Thank you so much again to the Melissa who got me this. This is super cute. It's just going to sit on my desk for a little while so I can stare at it because yes, I'm crazy. Um, I love you all so much. I hope you're all doing well. And thank you so much again for all your faithful support. It never goes unnoticed and I appreciate you all. Have a great weekend. Bye.